my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a graph sheet that you can type in using Microsoft Excel. Now this is useful if you want to keep your work digital instead of having to have a hard copy if you've run out of graph paper or something like that. And you can also use this to print more graph paper in case you run out. So here I am in Microsoft Excel. As you can see these cells aren't exactly uh, square. They're not really set up like a graph. To get them to be, all you have to do is click this little button in the upper left. And if you adjust any of the, the widths or the heights, it adjusts it across the entire worksheet. And that's pretty cool. It saves you a lot of time. However, you also notice that these cells are not necessarily uniform. Now you can come over here to the Format button underneath the Home tab on the ribbon and try to adjust the row and the uh, row height and the width manually. However, the numbers don't really line up. So that's not really a great way to go. What we can do, however, is we can go to Insert, and we're going to insert underneath the shape, we're going to put a rectangle in here. And what we want this to be is completely uniform. So we're going to come under the Format tab, which opens automatically, go into Size, and we're going to say 0.5 inches for the, uh, the width and the height. This is also a great way to, if you've got a ruler, you can duplicate the size of the cells in the page that you were already using which is kind of nice. We're going to set this up into the, uh, the upper left corner here. So you'll notice that this is kind of snapping to a grid as we move it around. And the reason for that is if you come underneath the Align tab, you can see I've got Snap to Grid selected, which is, which is kind of nice to help you quickly maneuver things around. However, if we select this button and we try to line up the, the row and the height up with the, with the cell, it will occasionally do this where it automatically readjusts itself. That's not really something that a guide should do. To disable this, select the, the square. We're going to come back to Format and push this little button underneath Size. And we come over here to Properties and you'll notice that it moves and resizes itself with the cells, which is not at all what we want. So we're going to select this third option down here. We don't want it to move at all. I'm going to click Close, select all the cells again, and now you can see that we can exactly position these cells to be the same size as the square. You just select the square and delete it. And if you want to see how this is going to come out if you print it, come over to View and say Page Layout. And you can see how these squares are going to divide themselves onto different pages. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create graph paper using Microsoft Excel. I'm Josiah Ray.